examples. While on bestowal missions, they are also accompanied by the brilliant evening stars, likewise of origin in the local creations. In every planetary effort, the secondary paradise suns, the Avonals, are supported by the full power and authority of a primary paradise sun, the creator sun of their local universe of service. To all intents and purposes, their work on the inhabited spheres is just as effective and acceptable as would have been the service of a creator sun upon such worlds of mortal habitation. 3. Judicial Actions the Avonals are known as magisterial sons because they are the high magistrates of the realms, the adjudicators of the successive dispensations of the worlds of time. They preside over the awakening of the sleeping survivors, sit in judgment on the realm, bring to an end a dispensation of suspended justice, execute the mandates of an age of probationary mercy, reassign the space creatures of planetary ministry to the tasks of the new dispensation, and return to the headquarters of their local universe upon the completion of their mission. When they sit in judgment on the destinies of an age, the Avonals decree the fate of the evolutionary races, but though they may render judgments extinguishing the identity of personal creatures, they do not execute such sentences. Verdicts of this nature are executed by none but the authorities of a super-universe. The arrival of a paradise of Onal on an evolutionary world for the purpose of terminating a dispensation and of inaugurating a new era of planetary progression is not necessarily either a magisterial mission or a bestowal mission. Magisterial missions sometimes, and bestowal missions always, are incarnations, that is, on such assignments the Avonals serve on a planet in material form, literally. Their other visits are technical, and in this capacity an Avonal is not incarnated for planetary service. If a magisterial son comes solely as a dispensational adjudicator, he arrives on a planet as a spiritual being, invisible to the material creatures of the realm. Such technical visits occur repeatedly in the long history of an inhabited world. Avonal sons may act as planetary judges prior to both the magisterial and bestowal experiences. On either of these missions, however, the incarnated son will judge the passing planetary age. Likewise does a creator son when incarnated on a mission of bestowal in the likeness of mortal flesh. When a paradise son visits an evolutionary world and becomes like one of its people, his presence terminates a dispensation and constitutes a judgment of the realm. 4. Magisterial Missions Prior to the planetary appearance of a bestowal sun, an inhabited world is usually visited by a paradise of Onal on a magisterial mission. If it is an initial magisterial visitation, the Avonal is always incarnated as a material being. He appears on the planet of assignment as a full-fledged male of the mortal races, a being fully visible to and in physical contact with the mortal creatures of his day and generation. Throughout a magisterial incarnation, the connection of the Avonal Son with the local and the universal spiritual forces is complete and unbroken. A planet may experience many magisterial visitations both before and after the appearance of a bestowal sun. It may be visited many times by the same or other Avonals, acting as dispensational adjudicators, but such technical missions of judgment are neither bestowal nor magisterial, and the Avonals are never incarnated at such times. Even when a planet is blessed with repeated magisterial missions, the Avonals do not always submit to mortal incarnation and when they do serve in the likeness of mortal flesh, they always appear as adult beings of the realm. They are not born of woman. When incarnated on either bestowal or magisterial missions, the Paradise Sons have experienced adjusters, and these adjusters are different for each incarnation. The adjusters that occupy the minds of the incarnated Sons of God can never hope for personality through fusion with the human divine beings of their indwelling, but they are often personalized by fiat of the Universal Father. Such adjusters form the Supreme Divinington Council of Direction for the administration, identification, and dispatch of mystery monitors to the inhabited realms. They also receive and accredit adjusters on their return to the bosom of the Father, upon the mortal dissolution of their earthly tabernacles.
In this way, the faithful adjusters of the world judges become the exalted chiefs of their kind. Urantia has never been host to an avonal son on a magisterial mission. Had Urantia followed the general plan of inhabited worlds, it would have been blessed with a magisterial mission sometime between the days of Adam and the bestowal of Christ Michael. But the regular sequence of paradise sons on your planet was wholly deranged by the appearance of your creator son on his terminal bestowal 1900 years ago. Urantia may yet be visited by an avonal commissioned to incarnate on a magisterial mission, but regarding the future appearance of paradise sons, not even the angels in heaven know the time or manner of such visitations. For a Michael bestowal world becomes the individual and personal ward of a master son, and as such is wholly subject to his own plans and rulings. And with your world this is further complicated by Michael's promise to return. Regardless of the misunderstandings about the Urantian sojourn of Michael of Nebadon, one thing is certainly authentic, his promise to come back to your world. In view of this prospect, only time can reveal the future order of the visitations of the Paradise Sons of God on Urantia. 5. Bestowal of the Paradise Sons of God The Eternal Son is the Eternal Word of God. The Eternal Son is the perfect expression of the first, absolute, and infinite thought of His Eternal Father. When a personal duplication or divine extension of this original Son starts on a bestowal mission of mortal incarnation, it becomes literally true that the divine Word is made flesh, and that the Word thus dwells among the lowly beings of animal origin. On Urantia, there is a widespread belief that the purpose of a son's bestowal is, in some manner, to influence the attitude of the Universal Father. But your enlightenment should indicate that this is not true. The bestowals of the Avonal and the Michael sons are a necessary part of the experiential process designed to make these sons safe and sympathetic magistrates and rulers of the peoples and planets of time and space. The career of sevenfold bestowal is the supreme goal of all Paradise Creator sons, and all magisterial sons are motivated by this same spirit of service which so abundantly characterizes the primary Creator sons and the eternal Son of Paradise. Some order of Paradise Son must be bestowed upon each mortal inhabited world in order to make it possible for thought adjusters to indwell the minds of all normal human beings on that sphere, for the adjusters do not come to all bona fide human beings until the Spirit of Truth has been poured out upon all flesh, and the sending of the Spirit of Truth is dependent upon the return to universe headquarters of a Paradise Son who has successfully executed a mission of mortal bestowal upon an evolving world. During the course of the long history of an inhabited planet, many dispensational adjudications will take place, and more than one magisterial mission may occur, but ordinarily only once will a bestowal son serve on the sphere. It is only required that each inhabited world have one bestowal son come to live the full mortal life from birth to death. Sooner or later, regardless of spiritual status, every mortal inhabited world is destined to become host to a magisterial son on a bestowal mission, except the one planet in each local universe whereon a creator son elects to make his mortal bestowal. Understanding more about the bestowal sons, you discern why so much interest attaches to Urantia in the history of Nebadon. Your small and insignificant planet is of local universe concern simply because it is the mortal home world of Jesus of Nazareth. It was the scene of the final and triumphant bestowal of your Creator Son, the arena in which Michael won the supreme personal sovereignty of the universe of Nebadon. At the headquarters of his local universe, a creator son, especially after the completion of his own mortal bestowal, spends much of his time in counseling and instructing the College of Associate Sons, the Magisterial Sons, and others. In love and devotion, with tender mercy and affectionate consideration, these Magisterial Sons bestow themselves upon the worlds of space. And in no way are these planetary services inferior to the mortal bestowals of the Michaels. It is true that your Creator Son selected for the realm of his final 